Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer and this is Dread Out Part 3. I had already recorded a decent amount of this and then realized I was using the wrong fucking microphone, the one that was uh, attached to my headset, and so the last 15 minutes of uh, recording that I did is completely gone. Cuz, fuck me, right? So I guess I should explain what happened. Luckily I got kinda lost so I didn't lose a whole bunch. Basically I went upstairs, I encountered a creature, and, uh, yeah, all that audio's gone, so that's fucking perfect. Um, anyway, so this is, like, a big fucking creepy woman female creature, and, uh, basically I just shot her with the, the camera a bunch of times. I probably have some of the images, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here we are. Oh, shit, okay, here we go. So this bitch right here. And, uh, it wasn't really that scary, so I'm prob I don't really need to replay it, to be honest with you. It's just, it's more so that I'm just annoyed that I, that I was so stupid to, to forget to, uh, check which microphone it was. I always do, and just the first time I don't, of course, I was, it was the wrong microphone. I have, like, six microphones, so it's just fucking ridiculous. Alright, so I probably should read the, the note that I got, um... Let's see, where is it? Residential estate in front, if it'll let me. Here we are. Alright, last night, 12 houses located at the Tirta Biru residential estate were turned to ashes. Four other houses also were uh, heavily damaged by the blazing fire. A large crowd of people watched helplessly as the fire consumed everything in its path. It all happened so fast, said one homeowner. Herman, who had to leap out of a two-story window from his study room. We were lucky no one died. A local night watchman, uh, Beauty, insisted that he noted two suspicious individuals near the site of the incident. However, Hendoko, the town's fire department chief, is certain that what occurred was purely accidental due to the source of the fire. A stove belonging to one of the uninsured homeowners. And I think there was one other thing. It was, yeah, it was the Ghostpedia thing. Uh, the Sundel Belong, or however you pronounce that. A prostitute in life, she was murdered by a jealous patron. As a supernatural being, she appears as a woman in white with a hole on her backside. Heh. <laughs> she focuses on terrorizing men, but women are equally vulnerable to her wrath. So yeah, those are things that I found last time. Um, and then there is Black Cat, and I'll go ahead and follow that thing. I should probably go ahead and, uh let you guys know, just so somebody doesn't leave in the comments going like, Dude, you fucking looked at a walkthrough dislike, or some shit like that. Um, I looked at a few notes on a walkthrough. I didn't look at everything. I didn't, like, uh, look at spoilers or anything like that. I didn't read what monsters were gonna be encountered, but I did get a basic idea of what I'm supposed to do. So I know next I'm supposed to follow the black cat, which... I have lost track of since then, so perfect for me. And anyway, wait, you know what really sucks is that uh, when I was recording, I, I kind of gave a review of a movie I saw recently, um, and I guess I'll just repeat literally everything I said. Uh, so I, the reason why I haven't posted a video in the last day or two of this is because uh, my sleeping schedule has been completely changed up in the last day, like I was sleeping for a different 12 hours, now I'm sleeping on the other 12 hours of the, of the cycle, so things are really weird right now. Um, also, hold on a sec. Also, I saw a movie um, called Godzilla. I'm sure a few of you have heard of that film before. Anyway, um, I was kind of disappointed. Yeah, not here, asshole. I was kind of disappointed with it, to be honest, because it, it wasn't... It didn't really live up to uh, the expectations I had. Well, okay, actually, that's not that's not a fair assessment because I, I didn't really have very many expectations. I'm not really a Godzilla guy. Uh, it's not really my thing, so to say I had any sort of expectations is kind of silly. Um, but I, I was disappointed with it because it started off actually really well. Brian Cranston's character is, is fantastic in the movie, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know if... I'm going to go ahead and say this just because I'm, I'm not sure if... Uh, people know, um, but Brian Cranston is not, and I repeat, is not the main character of this movie. Don't go into it thinking he is, because you'll be very disappointed. Kick-Ass, Aaron Taylor Johnson is the main character of this movie. Um, and he, I mean, you know, I don't, shit, I just bumped the microphone, sorry about that. Um, I don't disrespect him as an actor or anything like that. I think he's a decent actor, but, uh, 
his role was written so ju like juvenile and or not juvenile but just poorly like you like a fucking fourth grader wrote it that like i just i didn't get anything out of it where the fuck is it are you fucking ki ah jesus christ did i not check this side the entire time that's ridiculous i'm an idiot all right well this is the right way Anyway, so yeah, Brian Cranston is not really the main character of, that, uh, of the movie. Um, it was just kind of poorly written. And here's the black cat. He leads you to this area. Then there is supposed to be, yeah, there's supposed to be something here. And I'm supposed to do sort of like a Batman kind of line it up sort of thing. <gasps> there's something about this picture. So yeah, a bunch of little girls, I guess, hung themselves or some shit. And yeah, this door is locked for some reason. Not sure why. I know you are near. You will never take my baby. Never. Hmm. What is going on in this place? The music is creepy as hell. Now keep in mind, I looked at a paper walkthrough. I didn't look at a video, so I don't know what's happening or what's going to happen right now. If jump scares happen or some shit like that, it will be new to me. So I just want people to understand that. Closet door is locked. Alright then. I think jumping down is... Well, A, it's not an option, and it's also... Even if it were an option, it would be incredibly stupid to do so. So I'm not gonna try it. What's up, kitty cat? Now, kitty! Oh. Okay. There's that thing again. What's up, motherfucker? Don't try to kill me. Oh, shit. I think he's going to try something. No. I think that's a rat right there. Fuck off, buddy. Oh. Alright, so he uh, he went ahead and decided to fuck off right there. I think he's... No, he's right there, actually. Gonna just pretend you don't exist. Um, yep, just pretending you don't exist. Whoa. This is that lady I was talking about, I think, because she has the hole in her back. So... What you gonna do, lady? Ew. Whoa, fuck, don't, don't attack me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was odd, to say the least. So, yeah, the movie, back to Godzilla, uh, the movie just, it, I don't know how to say it exactly, it just didn't work for me. I didn't really get anything out of it, it just felt kind of bland, and it felt like a disaster porn flick. That, I think that's the best way of describing it. Don't fuck with me, dude. You know, that's, like... You can pretty much, uh, you know, replace it with any sort of disaster porn flick, and it's pretty much the same film. You know, like, uh, Day After Tomorrow, or some shit like that. It's pretty much the same sort of movie. What's in here? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, let's get to know this door's unlocked now. Whoa, holy shit. Fuck you, man. Seriously, just fuck you. It, 
it was just, um, I don't know. Another thing is that I, I went to see the movie with a couple friends, and personally, I wanted to see Neighbors. I thought Neighbors would have been a better movie to see because it's a surefire, like, you're going to see some funny shit, you know? Whereas Godzilla, it's more of a toss-up. You know, you don't know if you're going to see a good movie. You don't know if you're going to see a bad movie. You're just kind of banking on seeing a good movie. What the fuck? Oh, I think that thing's coming. The door can't be opened. Fantastic. Oh, shit. Fuck you, piggy. Hey there. Hey. 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 I'm taking pictures of you. Motherfucker. Oh shit. I think he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. This is kind of bullshit. I'm taking pictures of him right now. What the hell is that? Are you like Satan pig or something? I guess he's running away now. Yeah, you run away, piggy. I think I'm scared of you. So, I think the key is supposed to be in this area down here. I need to get the key. Here it is. There we are. Found the small, small key to the classroom. Now I gotta go all the way back upstairs. And I gotta deal with that bullshit. And open the closet, I believe. And, uh... Then I'm supposed to, like, get in some sort of fight, I think is what it says. Why am I saying that? What is wrong with you, you asshole? What is fucking wrong with me? Oh my god. Well, now you know. I'm sp supposed to be in a fight of some sort. I'm not gonna say of what, because I don't know myself, but... Yeah, I'm supposed to get into a fight. Apparently. So... You're welcome for ruining it for you, if you're seeing this for the first time. Oh, is this a different stair? Oh, these, I think these are different stairs. I think that's what it is. Yeah, these are different stairs. Uh, I did not realize that. That that makes this even more kind of creepy and difficult. It also shows kind of a lack of budget to where the level design is pretty much identical. I guess... I mean, it makes sense because it's a school, but it's still kind of annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, open this closet up. And do whatever we have to do in here, and then I'll stop the video. Alright, that's fucking perfect. Shit. Yeah, seriously, fuck you, dude. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't have very much room to maneuver. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. And I know how to do this, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Haha! <laughs> I know how to play this whole mission here. It's pretty simple. I didn't even have to look up a walkthrough for this part. This is just basic mechanics. You're stuck in a room, you don't know how to get out. You fight the bitch. 
Nie, 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 nie. Ha, 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 ha. Come on. You know, for a ghost, you really don't take the whole flying around thing very well. It seems like a very basic mechanic that ghosts should understand about themselves is that they are capable of flying. When you're capable of flight, I don't care how small the room is, there is no excuse for not being able to fuck some shit up. Oh shit, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, ah, oh, cunt, 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 cunt. Did you fucking die already? Yes! Fuck you! Alright, so, fuck that bitch. Found some scissors. Those might be useful at some point, you never know. Objective updated. Okay, what's my new objective? Uh... Let's see, the camera's flash seems to have disintegrated the ghost. It dropped a pair of scissors. So, I'm guessing now I gotta get the keys, um, the original keys that we found on the boar. Um... And then we can get out of here. I'm assuming that that is the course of action that I have to take after that because um, I didn't go very far into the walkthrough. I didn't. I didn't look through everything. You know, I, I didn't look through everything. I looked through what I thought that I could do in a video. So I might look through it in the next part. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm stopping the video here. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time.